What's up everyone, this is Slav King here, and today you join me for another one of my Gaming World videos. Where today, uh, I'm playing a little bit more of a random game than I guess you could say. Because today, we're popping into the world of Train Simulator, sorry, of Train Sim World 2. <laughs> Train Sim, Train Simulator is the other game they make. So, uh, yes, this is basically, um, as the name suggests, this is a train simulation game. And, yes, um, I have bought a couple of these over the years, I'm not going to lie. And personally, I think this is the best one I've ever come across. Um, so this is basically an evolution of the of the franchise because uh, Dovetail, the company that makes this game, uh, they have been um, they produce quite a lot of simulation games, and they've been working on the Train Simulator franchise for more than a decade. So yes. Um, so, I should obviously mention one thing. Uh, since this is Train Sim Mod 2, these are the three standard uh, standard routes you get. You get Sandpatch Gradient, the German route, which weirdly enough, never actually played, and of course, the London Underground. Um, however, I have downloaded, I have a couple of other routes as well, but these are partly routes which I've had from the past, aka Great Western Express, and some new ones. So, um... I'm actually recording this for the second time because the first time I recorded this, I used Southeastern, which I thought uh, at the time had the most variety because it had um, a combination. Well, it had a choice of uh, had the choice of four locos, the EW, so the Class 66, 375, 395 Javelin, and 465. Which, fun fact, is probably still one of my favourite trains. That I've, uh, yeah, probably one of my favourite trains. However, since making that video, I have downloaded the London Commuter line, and that just blows that just blows that out of the water, because as you can see, uh, there is a possibility of one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, six different trains you can use in the network. Plus, there's actually two which are undrivable. There's the HST, which also makes a cameo. And also the class 365. So yes. Um, there is a lot of variety. And to be honest. The only thing that's missing from this route. To make it pretty much perfect. In my opinion. Is uh, a, it's a South Western Railways train. Around Clapham Junction. And a Thameslink service going down to Brighton. Other than that. It's pretty much. Uh, it's, a, it's an ideal route. So. Before I get into the short route, because I'm going to be using the 377 uh, on a quick run from Victoria to Battersea Park. Um, so, uh, where are these still seas located? So, the 377 and the 387 are the ones you get as standard. The 166 and the HST is part of the Great Western Mainline route. The Class 313 is actually a standalone DLC uh, for the Bryan Mainline, but it can also be used in this one. Uh, the EWS, I believe you get that in both the uh, Great Western, yeah, Great Western Mainline and uh, Brighton Mainline. It's like uh, East Coast, East Coast way between Brighton and S Seaford and s stuff like that. Uh, the 375, you get that from the Southeastern Railways along, yeah. Uh, and finally, the Class 465. Which is basically the the cousin of like a 166. You get that as a standalone DLC, but uh, that's primarily going to be used for that's primarily going to be used for the southeastern route because in this it makes a cameo of London Victoria, but is undrivable. So I just want to uh, quickly make all those disclaimers. All right, so. Uh, let's type in the good thing is uh, since the last time I played this they've actually um, they've actually updated it so they've added a search bar which is nice um, so I'm actually gonna go from Battersea Park into London Victoria uh, so so I'm gonna go with this one because for some reason the other one seems to take longer uh, the reason I'm going for a short route is admittedly because most people they might not be interested in train simulation games. Uh, but yes. Uh, I've had a fascination with trains. Uh, 
Okay, not as much as I used to when I was younger, but if it comes to simulation games, I think I'd take a train game over an airplane game. Alright, which side am I on? Oh, okay, I'm just in the siding. That's very uneventful. Okay, I want something a bit more interesting than just a siding, let's be honest. That works, okay. Norwood Junction to... It's a bit early in the morning. Walsham to London, Victoria. Yeah, we'll go with that. We'll go with Horsham to London, Victoria. So I suspect this will probably spawn us on a uh, on a side on the sideline because uh, the thing about this game is because you uh, this route in particular has over fourteen hundred services from all those different trains. Oh, excellent. So we spawned at Clapham Junction. That's exa that's just what I was hoping for. Okay. So, for most people that don't know, Clapham Junction is easily one of the busiest uh, rail stations in the UK. Um, so here you get seven trains. Yeah, here you get seven trains. You get South Southwestern Railways. Um, and actually, if you um, if you end up playing this game, I actually came across it recently. There is actually a Cameo HST which passes through here as well. Now I'm not sure I'm not sure whether we'll see like any of the Cameo trains such as Southeastern or anything like that, but we'll see what happens in Victoria. Oh, they can see Batsy Park in the distance. Um, another thing that you can do on these routes is uh, there is collectibles. Oh, where are they? Well, interactables, I guess you could say. I'm going to just ease off the brake. So whether, whether we will see any of the cameo trains, like I said, is not uh, a certainty. There's also a random EWS, there's also a random class 66 around here as well, which I've seen recently. Let's up the power gauge. Um, I believe this is the if I'm correct, this is the London Overground line. So it goes under the main line. Uh, London Overground isn't in this, uh, if you're wondering. Oh, have I gone the wrong way? Oh yeah, sorry. That's the... Uh, so that line there, that is... So that line there that we're just on, that is the... Southwestern line, so Southwestern Railway network. So there's a couple of other lines. So the one in the far distance there, that's where you might see some southeastern trains. So it looks like we're going to be going straight through Battersea Park. Which, fun fact, uh, while it's not listed as a overground station, over overground trains can stop there now and again. So 
So if there was overground trains, they'd use this. They usually stop at platform two, but that's only when Clapham Junction's closed. Oh yeah, there's one of the interactables. So when it comes down to the cameo trains, so the southeastern trains would come from this direction and then go into London Victoria. Whether any of them will be there, I don't know. Can't remember the name of that bridge, but there's Battersea Power Station. Oh, there's one. So, like I said, uh, you get these random, you get these cameo trains. Also, I need to apply the brake. Maybe not. So those train, yeah, though those ones are AI trains. So that one will go to the left and disappear. So regarding the southeastern, the the three seven five, you see them uh, around Victoria, and they're drivable between East Croydon and uh, yeah, East Croydon and Redhill. Ah, yeah, here we go. So that one, so that's a 465, and that one uh, is not drivable on this route, but it does make a cameo around here. Like I said, I do like the fact that all these, uh, all these like DLCs, like they can add up, like to make a route like feel much, uh, much wider scope, if that makes sense. Also, I, re I really do. I really like the noise of the free of the three six five. It might be my favourite of all the trains, actually. Oh, one last thing uh, regarding the collectibles. Uh, let me just increase the speed slightly. There goes another one. Oh, well, there you do have the accurate ticket barrier noise. Never noticed that before. Quite funny, actually. Alright, almost there. And we're ahead of schedule. Excellent. So, if you're wondering, yes, um, so these trains, like the 377, 375, and the 387s, they're classed, they're, they are classified as Electro Star Fleets. So, they're technically part of the same family, but they do have one or two specific differences, such as in the 377, uh, they actually have a speed adjuster, but for some reason, I can't really use it. it. Might be just saying another gold medal to add to the collection. Uh, so yeah, I think I'll leave it there. So yes, um, so there has been a look at Train Simulator 2. Like I said, um, just as a quick disclaimer, some of these routes aren't necessarily the cheapest, but uh, they do like Dovetail do do sales once every so often and uh, like I said uh, if you end up getting a couple of routes like uh, like the 
three one three, uh, and quite a few DLCs. They can make a difference in later routes. Um, so yes. So uh, there has been another episode of the Gaming World series, and now it's time to return to the wheel to see what I will be playing for the next video. So now that we've just played Train Sim World Two, it's time to see what we will be playing for the next video. And it's going to be... Ah, Halo Multiplayer. So I should mention, um, this one is going to be a little bit different. So um, at the moment, I'm currently playing Halo Infinite. So it won't be that. It will be a return to uh, basically the Master Chief Collection to play either Halo Reach, 2, Combat Evolved, Halo 3 or Halo 4. So I'll be one of those two. Um, so one of those... Uh, one of those multiplayers, but yeah, it's um, it's been a fair minute since I played some more of the original Halos So yeah, it'll be nice to jump back into that So there has been another episode of my gaming world series If you've enjoyed this week's video, then please make sure to like this video and subscribe To know when my newest videos will be coming out. I hope you've enjoyed and for now This is Life King, signing out <laughs>